Hello everyone, Sigler here, Bork, Chef, you can call me whatever you'd like. Today I'm going to show you a pretty diversified um, farm that I've found. It might not be a new one, but the with the changes that is coming with the Wailed Supplies for Phase 3, this farm became even better, and I'm going to explain to you why. So, the farm that I actually did was the some murlocs in what is the name of the zone again S swamp of sorrows right yeah swamp of sorrow so i did just get to booty bay fly to stone art and then at this part right over here on the map let me make it a little bit bigger so at this coast here all the way down is where it was it's where i'm farming in the video where you can see up there way up there so at this location you have murlocs you have crocodiles you have crabs i think those are the ones but the good thing with this farm is that from the the crocodiles you'll get the tender crocolisk meat and the reason I only have one is because my main focus was the murlocs and the crabs. But sometimes, uh, since I, didn't I did not run around the coast, sometimes when I'm like stationary, when there is no murloc there, I just run around to the edges of the forest and I pull the uh, like two or three uh, crocolisks. But once I had the flow going, I almost did hit like a hyper spawn pretty much on this place. So, but you can farm the, the some tender crocolisk meat for, uh, so you can make, um, what's it, uh, the heavy, heavy crocolisk stew, which I'm not sure it's all, it, it sells anymore, but it drops at least. So you could sell the crocolisk, uh, tender crocolisk meat as it is if you want to. But uh, what we're really after, um, this is what you can see in my uh, loot appraiser. One hour, I got the looted item value was a uh, nine gold and twenty six silver. Keep in mind, this is not a legit actual. A gold uh, looted value because it's not like a crafted one so it's actually like the looted one like the material one and I'm gonna explain to you why it's gonna be better than this so it's actually way more than this and it's gonna be way more than this because of phase 3 and I'm gonna explain to you why and I also got 3 gold and 20 silver from looted because the Murlocs drops a few silver here and there and over an hour that was three gold which did amaze me it was way more than i expected but what are we really after in this farm it's quite simple the main objective that i was going there for was the big mouth clan why did i go after why did i go after it well because they drop these. The Cesty Clan Meat, Black Pearl, Iridescent Pearl, Small Istro I I Lustrous Pearl, and it has a very small chance of dropping a Golden Pearl. So, the Small Lustrous Pearl doesn't sell for that much. You can pretty much then trash it. The Iridescent Pearl on my server, same thing. It's like not worth anything at the moment. I'm not sure if it's gonna go up in price either because I don't think it's used for anything. Then you have the Black Pearl. It's one of my investments for Phase 3. Uh, I currently have uh, 177 total on this account. So I have 172 on my Phase 2, in, uh, like my investor for Phase 3. So that one is very nice. But why 
is the cystic clam it's so uh, like sought after right now and let me explain to you why and it is because in the new way it supplies we're gonna get the undermined clam shoe uh, show the shoulder which you need two cesty clam meat and then the uh, one ice cold milk and wine hot spices and if we go over here let's check what the price is right now see it's already bumped up in price I'm pretty sure it hasn't been this high before see it has bumped up in price quite significantly uh, it's been around like eight silver and stuff like that but since uh, yesterday it went up and sure there's a couple of days between there and this is like a, a someone probably just memed uh, I don't know but it went up in price and it's gonna be a part of a way that supplies uh, the new ones so it's gonna be sought after so if I go like this at the moment um, as you can see I've already bought 232 of them um, I haven't sold them I think I sent them to my bank alt uh, no 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 wait I haven't I made these here we go there you see in the bank I currently have 328 of the the crafted one the undermine clam shoulder and I'm gonna be able to make even more now and if you can see my average price the smart buy is one silver and 49 copper and this currently is about is right below two silver I think I'm gonna buy even more for like I don't know like a, a few more gold at least let's see what it says on the percentage okay 75 percent so I could probably buy until like a hundred percent so I'm gonna do that later, a little bit later. I'm gonna buy, well, at least the green ones. I'm gonna buy and craft even more because I, I think it's gonna bump up in price. It might be a easy part, uh, item to get. So keep in mind, it might be speculative to buy it, but you can farm it and rest assured it's gonna sell with a profit because people are gonna buy out and to, craft, to sell the crafted one. So it's always going to be a profit, which is nice. And also from the Murlocs, we're getting fish oil and fish oil is going for six silver each. So if I would sell all the fish oil that I got, I would have gotten. So that's about, it's a little bit more than that as well. So about three, three gold. So let me do like this, um, three gold, three gold. And then we have the undermine. So let's say that we actually would craft them and get the, this one. So then it's going to be 0 0.2258 times. And how many did we get? We're going to be able to craft 30. So 30, that's six gold six gold and 77.77 gold and also we got the black pearl let's see what the black pearls goes for see 23 silver each so then we had the 0 0.1318 times how many did we have five so that's one gold one gold point uh, 1.15 gold and then after that we have the uh, iridescent which actually at the moment is selling for 25 silver so that's 50 silver 50 silver and what did we also get we did get um, here we go the raw spotted fish uh, the spotted yellow tail which sells at the moment for it's not quite it's not that much but it's always something so 0 0.0294 times 20 so that's 58 silver 
for that one. 58 silver. 58 silver. And yeah, and we got the uh, superior healing potion. That's another 37 uh, silver. So roughly, if we would add this together, is the three gold pl uh, plus 6.77 plus uh, 1.15 plus 0 0.5 plus 0 0.58 plus 0 0.75. So we're getting about roughly 13 gold. Beca well, it's actually more because it's diluted gold. So plus 3.19. So we're getting 15 and a half gold an hour on this. Which is very nice. And this is going to be a very nice spot also. I am, if I'm going to, I haven't really decided yet what I'm going to play in phase 3. Um, I would like to have the, the hunter. But I don't think I'm going to be able to play that much and get it to level 40 that quick. But I will most likely, if, if there's no competition here, I will most likely just AOE grind the shit out of this place. Just for the gold experience. And yeah, the just convenience. So, yeah. I think this farm is gonna be amazing and yeah that's just the farm it's uh, quite a chill farm actually and also I almost forgot the crabs that is neutral that is uh, around that part also drops the clams it also drops these the big mouth clams so yeah if you see a crab kill it also because it drops this and with that i want to thank you for watching this video and if you want to try to play this guide uh, this uh, affliction aoe spell that you can see up in the corner of the, uh, way up there if you click on this video right here you're gonna be able to see how i'm playing that video because that's a affliction aoe guide and i hope to see you in the future in the, in in the past in this video or anywhere i'll see you ork fork <laughs>